Baking soda versus baking powder. Today in this experiment we are going to test and explain the difference between baking soda and baking powder. The confusion between these products is that each product contains ingredients from the other product. If you look at the back of a container of baking soda, the only ingredient it should contain is sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate is a salt that reacts with acids to produce carbon dioxide gas and water. When cooking, the carbon dioxide gas is what causes batters to expand and change texture. Baking powder, on the other hand, contains a mixture of four different chemicals. It contains sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, cornstarch, which acts as a stabilizer, sodium acid pyrophosphate, an acid salt, and sometimes monocalcium phosphate in double acting baking powder. Double acting baking powder contains two acid salts that will react at different temperatures. The monocalcium phosphate will react immediately with sodium bicarbonate when they are mixed together in a dough. The sodium acid pyrophosphate will react later during the cooking process to release more carbon dioxide gas. The ingredients in baking powder are proportioned to react completely so the dough's pH does not change. Baking powder is typically used when there is not an acid like vinegar already present in dough. All it takes is a little water to activate the reaction between sodium bicarbonate and monocalcium phosphate as demonstrated. The baking soda reacts with vinegar but not water. The baking powder does react to vinegar but it also reacts to water. This is because baking powder already contains an acid. The baking soda reacts with vinegar because it supplies the needed acid. To show what the acid does in baking powder, I will use potassium bitrate and react it with vinegar and water. The acetic acid does react with it, but it does not react with water. Adding sodium bicarbonate to the water and potassium bitrate results in a reaction similar to baking soda and vinegar. This is because the potassium bitrate or monocalcium phosphate provides an acid for the sodium bicarbonate to react with in the presence of water. Thus, baking powder does not require the addition of an acid because it already contains a dry acid in the baking powder. And that's the difference between baking soda and baking powder. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.